we have uh, a little bit of active weather going on right now in the form of a few showers. It's been all quiet in downtown Spokane and most of the Spokane area, but Liberty Lake has seen a few sprinkles. You might even have heard a clap of thunder in the valley, though I haven't gotten any reports out there. Taking a quick look at local radar, it looks like most of Spokane is going to stay dry, but just to the west of Spokane around the airport, we are seeing a little bit of shower, so we might see some brief wind gusts as this passes just to the west of the city and continues to push to the northeast, and this activity should continue to die down through the evening hours. Kind of taking a broader perspective, we can see that uh, upper level low pressure continues to spin across southwestern British Columbia. That's going to sit in place through Saturday and then Sunday it's going to be moving in. That's going to bring us some slightly cooler temperatures for the second half of our week and also a better chance of seeing some more widespread mountain showers. Saturday looks mainly dry, but Sunday a better chance of some more mountain showers and then by Monday that area of low pressure should be directly overhead giving us a chance of a few showers here locally, which again, a few showers aren't that bad, especially this time of year. We can do without the lightning, but a little bit of rain is always good just to keep things from drying out too much. The lake does look good for tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies at Coeur d'Alene. High temperatures in the lower 80s. Wind should not be a problem out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, and water temperatures are coming up 70 degrees. And our weather headlines, partly cloudy skies for the weekend. Mountain showers, better chance of that on Sunday. 80s for highs on Saturday. A little bit cooler, dialing it back just a little bit on Sunday. Highs in the upper 70s, a chance of showers coming in on Monday. Future tracker shows relatively quiet weather after these uh, brief showers move through for the overnight hours. Should see partly cloudy skies for your Saturday. And as you can see, not even really much in the way of mountain showers through Saturday afternoon. But Sunday, we'll start to see a few more of those showers developing for Sunday afternoon. I think Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, though, won't have to worry about getting wet until Sunday night into Monday. In the extended forecast, this is what we've got. Highs in the 80s on Saturday, a little bit cooler on Sunday, a high of 77 degrees. And then on Monday, chance of showers, high of 76. And then we start to dry out and see those warm temperatures return. Highs in the low to mid 80s with partly cloudy skies. Not a bad streak for July.